Tamud Bavli, Gemara Brachot, Perik Shani, Daf Tet Vav, Amud Aleph, um, Chapter 2, page 15a. And I'm just going to start from a few words on the previous page. Vamar Rabbi Yochanan, Rabbi Yochanan said, Haratzev Shikabel Alav, O Machot Shemayim Shlema, when he wishes to accept upon himself the yoke of heaven and sovereignty in a complete manner. Yipane ve'itol yadav should relieve himself and wash his hands ve'aniach tefillin and don tefillin ve'ikra kriyat shema ve'palel. Sorry, now we're at the top of the page. Ve'ikra kriyat shema ve'palel and perform the recital of the shema and pray ve'zohi malchut shemaim shlema. And this is a complete acceptance of the yoke of heaven's of heaven's sovereignty. Amar Rabbi Chia bar Rabba Amar Rabbi Yochanan. Rabbi Chia bar Rabba said in the name of Rabbi Yochanan, Kol Hanifne ben Otzel Yadav, anyone who relieves himself and washes his hands, or Maniach Tfilin, and Don Tfilin, the Korea Kriya Shema, we meet Palel, and performs a recital of Shema and praise, Male Alav Hakato Keilu Vana Mispeach. Scripture regards him as if he built an altar, the Kriva Alav Korbanin offered upon it a sacrifice, Dichtiv Erchatz ben Nikayon. Kapai va asovava et misbachacha Hashem. I wash in cleanliness my hands and circle around your altar Hashem. Amale Rava, Rava said, this is to Rav Chia Barava, Lo savar la mar keilo taval does not master hold as if he immersed and put his entire body in the mikvah. Dichti verchat binikayon. For it says, uh, it said before, it is written, I wash in cleanliness. And the, uh, and the, uh, and it did not write, I wash my hands. Amar le Ravina le Rava. Ravina said to Rava, Chaze mar hai tsurva meravanan. Has the master seen this young rabbinical student? Data mimarava vamar, who came from the west, from Eretz Israel, and said, one in who does not have water to wash his hands before prayer, should clean his hands by rubbing them with earth or with pebbles or with chips of wood. Amale Shapir Kamar, the student has said, well, it, is it written, I wash with water? No. Binikayon Ktiv. In cleanliness is written, kol midi de menake, anything that cleans can be used. Daha rav chistalet aman de dim hadar amaya beidan et slota. For indeed, rav chista condemned one who goes after water at the time of prayer, at the time for prayer. Vehane mile likriat shma. And this ruling is in regard to saying shma aval. However, in regard to prayer, one must go after water. The Ad Kama, and how far do you need to go to get water? Ad Parsa, up until a Parsa. Um, this is equivalent to about 2.4 or 3 miles. The Hane Mile Lekame, and this ruling. Uh, only applies if the water is before him. Aval la chore la filumil eno chazer. However, if it's behind him, he does not need to return uh, to get it even up to the distance of a mil. Umina mil hu de eno chazer. And from this statement, uh, it is uh, a mil that one need not return. Ha patua ha pachot mi mil chazer. Less than a mil, he must yeah. return. Mishnah. Hakore Shema Velo Hishmael Elzno, one who recites Shman does not make it audible to his ear, Yatsa has fulfilled his obligation. Rabbi Yossi Omer Lo Yatsa, however, Rabbi Yossi says he has not fulfilled his obligation. Kara Velo Dikdek Beotioteha, if one recited Shema and was not meticulous, in, in each of its letters, Rabbi Yossi Omer Yatsa. Rabbi Yossi says he has fulfilled his obligation. Rabbi Yodo Omer Lo Yatsa. Rabbi Yodo says that he has not fulfilled his obligation. Hakare Lema Freya Lo Yatsa. One who recites Shema out of sequence has not fulfilled his obligation. 
Karaba ta'ai Juan recited Shema um, and made an error. Yachazol ha'makom sheta'ai must return to the place where he made an error and recite from there until the end. Let's scroll down. <clears throat> so we're going to start from the Gemara, which is about halfway down the page. On the screen, it's on the top of the screen, Gemara. Gemara. My Tama de Rabbi Yossi, what is Rabbi Yossi's reason? Uh, that the Shema needs to be audible. Mishum dichtiv Shema, because it's written here. Hashma laznecha ma sheatamotzi mipicha. You must make the words that you bring forth from your mouth audible to your ears. But Tanakama sava, and Tanakama holds Shema here, the cholashon sheatashumea. In any language, it can be in any language that you hear or understand. So it's two different meanings of the word Shema. The Rabbi Yossi Tartei Shema Mina, and Rabbi Yossi derives both of these teachings from the word here. Tanan Hatam, we learned in a Mishnah, Cheresh Ha Medaber Ve'eno Shamea, a deaf person who can speak but cannot hear, Loi Trom may not separate Troma Ve'im Taram, but if he did separate Troma, Troma to Troma, his Troma is a valid Troma. Man Tana Mantanak Cheresh Hamedaber the Eno Shamea, who taught um, a deaf person who can speak but cannot hear about the trauma separation, Diavad Ein. After the fact, uh, it is indeed valid. De Lechatrilalo, but initially it should not be performed. Ama Rabhista, Rabhista said, Rabbi Yossi, he, it is Rabbi Yossi's teaching, did not, for we learned in the Mishnah, Hakore et Shma velo Hishmela is not. One who recites the Shma and does not make it audible to his ears, Yatza, has fulfilled his obligation. Divrei, Rabbi Yoda, these are the words of Rabbi Yoda. Rabbi Yossi Omer, Loyatza has not fulfilled his obligation. Ad kan lo. Kama Rabbi Yossi lo yatsa. Until here, Rabbi Yossi does states he has not fulfilled uh, even bidi of it. Ella gabe kriyat shma doraisa. Only with regards to the recital of the shma, which is a biblical uh, obligation. Aval truma mishum barachahu. But for truma, uh, because of the blessing, uvracha um, drabanan, and the requirement to say a blessing before is of a rabbinical origin. Velo bivracha talia milta. And furthermore, this is not, this matter is not dependent on a blessing. We'll just scroll down to the bottom. So we're going from about 10 lines up from the, from the bottom of the beginning middle section, beginning uh, section, which is thin. So it's in the middle. O Memai. O Memai de Rabbi Yossi here. And from what uh, do we say that the mission in Trumas is by Rabbi Yossi? Dilma Rabbi Yoda him. Perhaps it is Rabbi Yoda. Vamagabe. Kriyashma Nami. And Rabbi Yoda stated in the Mishnah regarding the recital of the Shema as well. Diavad Ein. After the fact, it is indeed valid. The Chachila, lot, but initially should not be performed. Teda, and you should know, Dekatane Hakore, for the Mishnah set stated one who recites, Diavad Ein Lechachilolo. After the fact, uh, not hearing Shema is valid, is indeed valid, but initially should not be performed. Amre, they say in reply, Hai Dekatane Hakore, this is what the Mishnah says about one who recites. Lohadiacha Koho de Rabiosi, but to inform you of the extent of the opinion of Rabiosi, Dama Diavad Namilo, who said after the fact as well uh, that it's not valid, Dei Rabioda for Rabioda, a filo lechachila nemiyata. Even in the first instance, one has fulfilled his obligation. Bemai Ukim Okimta, how do you establish? Uh, the authorship of the Mishnah in Tremot, Karabiyasi, in accordance with Karabiyasi, the Eilaha de Tanya, but uh, for this ruling that was taught in the Baraisa, Lo Yevarech Adam Birkat Hamazon Bilibo, 
One should not recite the blessing of Birkat Amazon in his heart, for but if he did recite the blessing, he has fulfilled his obligation. Uh, money. So whose opinion is this, Baraisa? Lo Rabbi Yossi ve lo Rabbi Yoda. Neither Rabbi Yossi nor Rabbi Yoda. De i Rabbi Yoda. For if it's Rabbi Yoda, ha malachachila nami For he said that one has fulfilled his obligation in uh, uh, uh in the first instance as well. Sorry. Lachachila from the beginning as well. I Rabbi Yossi. And if you say Rabbi Yossi, Diavad Namilo. Uh, it is not valid also after the fact. Elamai, rather, what can we say? Rabbi Oda. Vedieved Ein. And so Shema is indeed valid after the fact. Lechachila, lo. Initially, no. Elaha de Tane Rabbi Oda, Bere de Rabbi Shimon ben Pazi. But how is this ruling that Rabbi Oda, the son of Rabbi Shimon ben Pazi, taught? Cheresh hamidaber ve'eno shomea. A deaf person who can speak but cannot hear. Torem lechachila may separate shomea in the first instance. Money, whose view is this? Lo rabbi yodo ve lo rabbi yossi. Neither rabbi yodo nor rabbi nor rabbi yossi. I rabbi yodo for if you say rabbi yodo, ha ma diava ein lechachila. Lo. For indeed, for he said indeed after the fact initially it should not be performed. I Rabbi Yossi, and if you say Rabbi Yossi, Ha Matiavad Namilo. For Rabbi Yossi has said that it is not valid, uh, the inaudible recital of Shema is not valid after the fact. So an answer from the Gemara. Ela Lam Rabbi Yoda, rather in truth, it follows Rabbi Yoda. Vafilo Lachachila Nami. And because Rabbi Yoda holds, even in the first inst- instance, an or in, in, in inaudible recital is acceptable. Velo kasha, and there is no difficulty. Ha dide, this is Rabbi Yoda's opinion. Ha de Rabbe, and this is Rabbi Yoda's teacher's opinion. Ditznan, for we learn in the Mishnah, Rabbi Yoda, or Mamishom, Rabbi Elazar ben Azariah. Rabbi Yoda says in the name of Rabbi Elazar ben Azariah. One who recites the Shema needs to make it audible to his ears. As it says, Shema Israel Hashem Elokeinu Hashem Echad. Hear, O Israel, Hashem is our God. Hashem is the one and only. Ama le Rabbi Rabbi Meir. Rabbi Meir said to him, Hare Hu Omer. But it is stated, Asher Anochim Zevecha Yom Alav Vecha, that I command you this day be upon your heart. Achar Kavanat Halev Hen Hen Hadarim. Assumed to the concentration of the heart are these very words. So concentration is important. Hashta da ti tlahachi, now that you have come to this, Athilo tema rabioda, karabe sfirale. You can even say rabioda concurs with his teacher. Filo kasha, and still, and there is no difficulty. Ha rabbi meir, from rabbi meir, ha rabioda. Um, and these are the views of Rabbi Yoda. Tanan Hatam, we learned in a Mishnah. Hakol Kesherim Likrot et Hamigila. All are qual- all are qualified to recite the Megillah. Chutme Cheresh Shoteva Katan, except one who is deaf, a deranged person, and a minor. The Rabbi Yoda Machshir Bakatan, but Rabbi Yoda declares a minor qualified. Man Tana Cheresh Di Avad Namilo. Who is the Tana after the fact as well that uh, the Megillah recital of a, deaf, of a deaf person is not valid? Ama Rav Matna, Rav Matna said, Rabbi Yossihi, it's Rabbi Yossi Ditan, for we learned in Mishnah. Hakore et Shma Velo Hishmea Leosna. One who recites the Shma does not make it audible to his ear, Yatsa has fulfilled his obligation. Divrei Rabbi Yoda, these are words of Rabbi Yoda. Rabbi Yossi Omer, however, Rabbi Yossi says, Lo Yatsa has not fulfilled his obligation. Just as Rabbi Yossi invalidates an inaudible Shema recital, so too, so too he would totally invalidate the Megillah recital of a deaf person. Mimadi Rabbi Yossi here, from what uh, do we say that the Mishnah is following Rabbi Yossi? Vidyavad Namilo, and after the fact as well that a deaf person's Megillah recital is not valid. <laughs>